this morning as we come to congregational prayer, uh, just a couple of uh, updates for you. Uh, one is uh, please continue to pray for uh, Lita. She is, as John mentioned last week, she is home. Um, but Bill was telling me that, that her energy levels are, are not at all what she would like to have or uh, close to what she has had in, in the past. So uh, please very much be in prayer for uh, Lita uh, as she continues her recovery and for, for Bill too, uh, always for uh, our caregivers and loved ones as they walk through these journeys with us. Also, uh, we found out uh, just recently that uh, Henry uh, is, uh, he has had a, a bit of a back injury um, at work, I believe, um, and so uh, he's been laid up at home, and so if you could be in prayer for him and for Stefania and for the rest of the family there as well, uh, that, would be, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Our offering for this morning is for the Seafarers Center in Montreal. Uh, we just heard a report from them at classes meeting, um, at, and things are going well. But it has been, as you can imagine, a very, very challenging last year and a half or, or more uh, for them as they have, um, they have seafarers constantly coming into the port of Montreal and, uh, you know, uh, many of them are coming from places where vaccines are not so much available. And before that, there, was, uh, there were tremendous restrictions on them in terms of staying on the ship and not getting out and about. And so it has been a real struggle for uh, the seafarers themselves, but also for uh, the seafarers mission, uh, the seafarers center. And so please be in prayer for, uh, for them. Uh, they are... Um, they are going to do gift uh, boxes this year. However, it's going to be a little bit different than before. Um, I think what they're asking is that if people are wanting to donate towards gift packages for seafarers, uh, they, they would ask that monetary gifts be given to the center, and then the center can go and make the purchases for the gifts for the seafarers. They've also been able to be part of providing uh, vaccine clinics for uh, those seafarers who are interested in receiving that lately. So uh, they've been just doing tremendous work for years and years and years, and they continue to do so. So please be in prayer for them as well. Let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we are so grateful for this opportunity again to come and worship you together as your body here at Athens Christian Reformed Church. We are so grateful that uh, those of us who are here are here together in body, uh, but we are also even more grateful that we are able to be here with each other as believers in spirit throughout this world. We thank you for all of the churches in our denomination that are worshiping this day. We thank you for the churches in our village and in the surrounding area that are worshiping today. We thank you for how you call believers throughout this world to worship you in spirit and in truth, not just on this day, but every day of the week in all that you call us to do. We thank you that you have planned in advance good things for us to do. And though as we spent time in confession this morning, we know that we are not anywhere near perfect, we are so grateful that your spirit continues to work within us, that our fellow believers can encourage us and strengthen us and sometimes uh, hold us accountable as well. Lord, we pray that all of us would approach one another humbly and with love, and that we would approach the world around us in the same way, knowing that that is exactly how you, Jesus, approach this world, with humility and with love. <coughs> Father, we pray very much 
for the Seafair Center. We thank you very much for all the work that they have been able to do, um, even in these very difficult times. And we pray that these, our tithes and offerings, would be a pleasing aroma to you, that they would go to the spread of your kingdom, and that righteousness would be honored through all that they and we do in the missions you have called us to. Father, we pray for Lita, we pray for Bill, we pray for Lita's recovery, ongoing recovery, Lord. We pray that she would soon have her energy levels back to something close to normal, if not better. We pray, O oh God, that you will be with Henry in his, um, his injury. Lord, would you please strengthen him as well. Father, we pray as well, uh, not only for those, but also for all of those in our congregation who are struggling with health concerns of various kinds. Lord, we thank you for the medical system that is able to provide so much healing and help in this area, in this world. Lord, we pray for those countries where there is not nearly the infrastructure available to care for people as there is here. We thank you, O oh God, for hospitals and for nurses and doctors and other health care professionals. We thank you, O oh God, that, that hospitals were, in a lot of ways, an invention that came out of your church early Christ followers who saw in the sick the image of you, Jesus, and who heard the words, whatever you do to the least of these, you do unto me. And so they cared for the sick, and for the poor, and for the orphan, and for the widow. Help us, O oh God, to do so as well. Father, we pray that you will also guide us as we look to your scriptures, that you would un unpack for us what you would have us learn this morning, and that we would hear with humble and open hearts. We pray for our children who go off to Sunday school. We ask your blessing upon them and their teachers. We ask that they would learn and grow as well. And Lord, we lay all of these things at your feet, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.